Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, please welcome your host, Kermit the Frog. It's the Muppet Show with our very special guest stars, the Wiggles and their wiggly friends. Yay! It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, Muppetational. This is what we call the Muppet Show! Hey! Has that a run before? I mean, that's never happened before. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the Muppet Show. Hey, we have a great show for you tonight, folks, because our very special guest star, stars, are the Wiggles. So, just like the original Muppet Show, we're going to be doing a three-hour show. Hey, Chief, excuse me, Kermit. Hey, boss, boss. Uh, Scooter, do you mind? I'm in the middle of doing something. Uh, yes, well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Well, Jake, the director of this first episode of the Muppet Show, says that it's a full-length episode since he since the show was a little delayed because he was making the props um he says that there's a lot of s songs in this episode so this is just the first episode and uh scooter you're not really making any sense what i'm trying to say boss it jake told me that it's a full-length show a full-length show? Yep. It's not a half hour, like the original Muppet Show. Not a half hour? Nope. Okay. So, how long is this show? The same as long as we... As we did at the O2 in the Hollywood Bowl. You mean full-length, like you said? Yep. Huh. Well, okay. No use telling the viewers out there because they heard what you said. So, just to let you viewers out there know that this is a full-length first episode of The Muppet Show, Jake Lander's version. Uh, I think they already get it, Scooter. Do you mind? Can I please introduce the first number? Oh, okay. Sorry, boss. I gotta go anyway. I'm... I expect a call from my mom. And Ken. Okay, I'm really sorry about that, folks. So, now, before we get to our first number, I just want to let you know that the Wiggles, Greg, Murray, Jeff, and Anthony, they have been friends of mine since we were Muppet Babies. When I first met the when me, Piggy, Fozzie, and the others first met the Wiggles, they were they were lost in our old town Muppetville, and they didn't know where they were because they were there on holiday. So, so that's why they're our tonight's guest star, and all their wiggly friends: Dorothy the dinosaur, Wags the dog, Henry the octopus. 
Captain Felisor, the Friendly Pirate, Diego, Alicia, Baby Jaguar, and of course, Dora the Explorer are, are here. And they won't just be singing their classic songs alone, we'll be singing their songs with them. But no more talking. Here is the opening number we promised. I mean, that I promised that I would introduce. An old classic song from the Muppet Show, Manamana. Yeah! The question is, what is Menomina? The other question is, who still cares? <laughs> Statler, Waldorf, we talked about this. This is a kid's show. You need to be child friendly. Sorry, Jake. Sorry, Jake. Thank you. All right, very good, guys. Come here. Off the stage, please. You did excellent. That song never gets old. No, it doesn't, Chief. No, it doesn't. Hey, Kermit. Oh, hey, Wiggles. Hey, it's the Wiggles. Hey, Kermit. Hey, Scooter. Are you Wiggles ready for your introduction? Almost, Scooter. We're going to go grab our instruments from the guest star room. And then will be introduced. Okay, but hurry. Don't have a lot of time. Hey, Scooter, you need me? Uh, Howard, can you please go get Alicia, Baby Jaguar, Wags the Dog, and the Wiggly Dancers and tell them it's almost time for their number? Here come the Wiggles. Sure can, Scooter. Hi, Kermit. Hi, Scooter. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Dora. Jeff! Jeff, you're asleep! And it's almost time for the Here Come the Wiggles number! Please wake up! Leave it to me, Kermie and Scooter. This should do the trick. Miss Piggy, don't blow that whistle!
The sound of the whistle makes Anthony do some very silly things. Just to let you viewers out there know. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, Wiggles. You ready for your selves to be introduced? We sure are, Scooter. All right, Chief, go and introduce the Wiggles. All right, Wiggles, get ready to wiggle. Okay, let's go, beauty mite. Donna. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, our guest stars, that kids band, The Wiggles! Yay! wonder why the Wiggles didn't ask us to sing in their song. Probably because they heard you sing. Go! <laughs> okay, great work, Wiggly Dancers. And Diego, Henry, Baby Jaguar, Wags, Dorothy, Captain, Dora, and Alicia. Great work. Great dancing out there. Hey, Wiggles, great dancing out there. Thanks, Gonzo. I wish I was in that number. Well, don't worry. You'll be in the next number after this one. Hot potato. Oh, yeah. I'm still working on the actions. Now, how does it go? Hot potato, hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. 
Hot potato, hot potato. Are you Wiggles ready for your next number? Yes. Kermit, we're ready. Now, I spoke to the mayor and the police, and they said that they'll let us have the big red car in the theater just this once. Oh, don't worry about the big red car, Kermit. We always use the big red car on stage. On the beginning of the show and concert. Say, where is the big red car? Oh, Sweetums is bringing it. Here's your big red car, Wiggles. Thanks, Sweetums. Okay, Wiggles, jump in the big red car and I'll go introduce you. Okay, Kermit. Come on, guys, let's jump in. Yeah. Hey, hey, big red car. Seatbelts, so we can be safe. Okay, Kermit, don't introduce us. Okay, Greg. Start the car, Greg. Dun, dun, dun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing their next number, The Wiggles, from a song from The Wiggles movie. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's available to watch on YouTube. A song from The Wiggles movie, Quack, Quack, cock a doodle doo Not a bad song. Have you seen the Wiggles movie? No, but I've seen the Muppet movie. I love the Wiggles movie. The Wiggles movie is better than the Muppet movie. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Statler, Waldorf. Sorry, Jake. Very good, Wiggles. Would you like some help getting the big red car off the stage? Oh, no. No, thank you, Sweetums and Kermit. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, Sweetums. We drove the big red car on stage a couple of times before. We know how to get it off. Let's go forward, Wiggles. You, Wiggles. 
Bagels okay? We're okay, sweetums. Okay. Huh. Good G. Cue the next number. Hot potato! Hot potato! Hot potato! Hot potato! Good animal! Hot potato! Hot potato! Animal! Hell! Set! And control! Hey Alicia! Thanks for helping get animals drums off the stage! Did not that, Floyd? Ooh, like, wow, it's nice to help a friend, isn't it? My drums! My drums! Animal! Hell! And control! Again! I l -l 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 love singing Hot Potato! Hot Potato is one of my song, favorite Wiggles songs, even though I am not an American. I'm sorry for that, Sam. Oh, welcome to Muppet Labs Learning. I am Dr. Buns and Honeydew, and this is my assistant, Beaker. Mimi. And today we are going to teach you all out there about atoms and molecules. And joining us... Today is the Yellow Wiggle, Greg. Hi, Bunsen. Hello, Beaker. Me, me, me. Greetings, Mr. Greg. Now, if you all would please turn to the screen, me and Greg will explain to you all about atoms and molecules. Now, chemical structures. Starting with chemical structures, the properties of elements and compounds are determined by the, their st structures. The simplest structure unit of an element is an atom. Atoms are very small. A hundred million, one hundred thousand hydrogen atoms put side by side is only as long as one centimeter. That is right, Bunsen. And did you know some elements are monatomic, meaning they are made of a single monatom atomic in their molecule form helium. He see fig 2.8 is an example of a monatomic element. Other elements contain two or more atoms in their molecules form. Mimi, Mimi. That's right, Beaker. Fig 2.8. Hydrogen, H2. Oxygen, H2. And chlorine, and chlorine, Cl2. Molecules, for example, each contains two atoms, another form of oxygen. Ozone, O3, has three atoms, and sulfur, S8 has eight atoms. All 
elemental molecules are made of atoms of a single element. Now, we won't tell you the whole thing about atoms and molecules. We're going to tell you a little, not a lot. Molecules of compound have atoms of two or more different elements. For example, water, or the scientific word is H2O, has three atoms. That is right, Mr. Gregg. Two hydrogen, H, atoms, and one oxygen, O, atom methane, CH4, a common greenhouse, gas, has five atoms, one of them carbon, C, and four of hydrogen, H, C, fig, 2.9. Now, the last one we're going to tell you is electro electrostic forces. Electrostic forces, me, 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 me. No, Beaker, not electrical, e electrostic. Me. Electrostic forces hold atoms in molecules. The electrostic forces that hold atoms together in molecules are the same type of force that cause static electricity. Common example of static electricity are when someone gets shocked. Just like dangerous electricity that you should never be too close to. Now, this electricity is different than the kind of electricity that, you, that works outlets and other stuff. Because, like, like I said, electricity, common examples of static electricity are when someone gets a shock when reaching for a doorknob. Or when a child's hair is raised when going down a plastic slide at, at a playground. Fig 2.10. And that is all the time we have. Sorry we couldn't explain the whole thing about atoms and molecules. We didn't want to make this too long or give too much information. So we'll see you next time on Muppet Labs Learning. See you later, everyone. Me, me, me! See you all next time. Don't touch the ground, cause it's hot, hot lava. You can't even go on your tippy toes. Don't touch the ground, cause it's hot, hot lava. You can't even go on your tip, tip, tippy toes. If you drop your tricon hat, don't pick it up. Unless you got a 10 foot pole and protective gloves. When I say it's hot, I mean it's Really hot! It could took a million years before that it is not. Ah, hot lover! You can't bother with hot lover. It's way too hot to step upon. So swing and climb from vine to vine like a monkey does that all the time. But as you go into and fro, be careful not to tip a toe. It's magma knot of solid rock. This hot lava is rather hot. Don't touch the ground, cause it's hot, hot lava. Hot lava, hot lava, hot lava. It's real hot.
Muppet History. Welcome to Muppet History, where we learn about people and stuff from the past and the future and the present. I am Walter. I am Sam Eagle. And I am Uncle Deadly. And today for our Mupp on the first episode of Muppet History, we are going to teach you a little about Thomas Scott. But just like in Muppet learning class, we're not going to teach you a lot. So we're going to keep stuff like the violence and other stuff not for kids out and private. Oh, uh, hey guys. Uh, excuse me, Bobo, but you're kind of interrupting. Well... I'm sorry for interrupting, but have you seen my car keys? Ah, uh, no, we haven't seen your car keys. You left your car back in L.A. Well, actually, I... I brought it to Coolsville when we got to the new house with a transfer truck. Can you please get out of here? We are trying to do a history. Okay. My apologies for being rude. Apology accepted. And I think I saw your car keys on the kitchen counter, Bobo. Thanks, Walter. Now, let's, without further ado, let's get started on Thomas Scott. Okay, Sam, you go first, then Deadly, then me. My pleasure, Walter. Now, Thomas Scott, insurgent, labor, born C in 1842 in Clady Boys, E. County Down, Ireland, died 4th of March in, 70, in 1870 in Red River Colony. Scott was an Irish Protestant who moved to the Red River Colony in 1869 and joined the Canadian Party. His actions against the provincial government of Asenabuia twice led to his arrest and jailing. Scott was convinced of tre- uh, uh, Sam, Sam, uh, excuse me, Walter. I am, it's still my term. Turn, I mean. Yes, but I did say there's some stuff about Thomas Scott that we should keep private because there's some stuff not for that kids should know about him. Oh, yeah. Good point. I believe that it's my turn. Go ahead, Uncle Deadly. Now, Scott eventually traveled west looking for better opportunity in the spring of 1896. He arrived at the Red... River Colony at the Forks of Asani Boing, 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 and Red Rivers. See the Forks. It was home to about 5,000 descendants, descendants of French explorers and fur traders who had married indigenous women. See Voyager. Most Metis were Catholic, Catholic and French-speaking, but a large minority were English-speaking something I can't say. A growing number of, can't say, English-speaking Canadians, like Scott, were also moving to Red River. Now my turn. Red River was part of an vast region called Rupert's Land that had been owned by Hudson Bay Company in March 1896, just before Scott's arrival. It had been sold to the British crowd with the intent to sell it to the domination of Canada. The Canadian purchase would not be official until 1st of December. Between March and December 
1869, people were confused about who owned the land and governed its people. This added to the rest added to the resentment among people at Red River who had not been consulted about the sale, racial, religious, and ethnic tensions were made worse by the belief that the sale would bring even more potent migrate migrants from Ontario. The settlement was also split because some people wanted to join Canada. Others wanted the colony to be independent. Others hoped that Red River would become a British colony, and still others wanted to join the United States. When he arrived in Red River, Scott joined a construction crew building the Dawson Road between Red River and Fort William. In August, it was discovered that the project's superintendent and paymaster, John A. Snow had been underpaying the workers. Scott led a gang that dragged Snow to the river and threatened to throw him in. In the... Oh, wait. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I take it back. Sorry. Sorry. In November, Scott was charged with assault. Find expensive for and fired. Thank you for joining us on Muppet History. We're sorry we couldn't tell you the whole thing about Thomas Scott because there's some stuff about him we should keep private and to ourselves. So we'll see you next time on Muppet History when we learn about something else from the past or the present. Okay, Sam Eagle, Wayne and Wanda on stage, please. I was just on stage, Kermit. Oh, sorry, Sam. Okay, Wayne and Wanda on stage for I Love It When It Rains song, please. Sam, go, 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 go. Go introduce them. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce those two singing lovebirds, Wayne and Wanda, singing... One of the Wiggles' old songs. I love it when it rains. I love it when it rains as I lie in bed at night. I see it through my window, the powder soft and night. And then the storm may come, and the thunder starts to crash. Now that's what I call a washout! <laughs> okay, Wiggles on stage for Rockabye Bear, please. Uh, say there, Kermit. Oh, hey, Scooter. What's up? Uh, Summer, Skeeter, La Cabra, and Denise just called, and they said that they're almost here. They'll be here in time for the 
closing numbers. Wiggle Medley and and the Magic Store. And Rainbow Connections. Well, that's good. Last call. Wiggles on stage for Rocket by Your Bear, please. Um, excuse me, Kermit. Frog. Are you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Miss Piggy. Wiggles and Miss Piggy on stage for Rocket by Your Bear, please. Thank you. Remember, Kermit, Frog. Don't ever say the F word, kids. I didn't mean to. Sorry. I didn't almost. I didn't mean to almost say the bad F word, kids. Sorry. Remember, Frog. I'm the star of the Muppet Show. Okay, Miss Piggy. I get it. We're ready for the Rock by a Bear number, Kermit. Great, Wiggles. And thanks for letting Miss Piggy do it with ya. It's no problem at all, Kermit. We know that rock a a bear is one of Miss Piggy's favorite songs. It sure is. And when I have children, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna sing to them to help them fall asleep when they're babies. Since we're already married, right, Kermie? Kissy, kissy. Uh, all right. Go ahead on stage. Go head up and head on stage, Wiggles. I'll go introduce you. Oh, oh, that was a washout. I know, and I've already taken a shower. Uh, Dorothy, Alicia, can you help Wayne and Wanda dry off? Oh, sure, Kermit. Come over here, Wayne and Wanda. Alicia and I will help you dry off. Oh, thank you, Dorothy and Alicia. You both are lifesavers. All right, Wiggles, let's go. Come on, Miss Piggy. Oh, Ma's coming. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you recognize this Wiggle song, feel free to sing along and do the actions. And remember to put your hands in the air and rock a by your bear to, well, rock a by your bear. No, everyone, Jeff's falling asleep. We better wake him up. When I count to three, let's all yell, wake up, Jeff. One, two, three. Wake up, Jeff! <laughs> thank you, Kermit. Thank you, Miss Piggy. And thank you, everyone, for waking me up. Hey, 
Why didn't we fall asleep? Are you kidding? I can't sleep through this. I'm gonna stay awake through the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Well, after the show, I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow and not even wake up. Oh, 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 wait, wait, what? That makes no sense. Yeah. Sorry, Kermit, I didn't mean to fall asleep. Oh, that's okay, Jeff. I understand that you're always falling asleep. Apology accepted. Say, Kermit, what's up next? Let's see. Well, we did, uh, we did Manamana. We did Here Come the Wiggles, Quack Quack, Hot Potato. What other songs did we do? Uh, we did Hot Lava. Can you point your fingers and do the twist? And what other songs did we do? Oh, yeah. We did Wayne and Wanda already sang I Love It When It Rains. Except that rain fell on them and they got cold. I hope they're okay. Oh, don't worry, Mari. I'm sure they'll be fine. All they need is just some warm blankets. Anyway, you know what? That rain did remind me about in the Wiggles movie when you guys went down brrr straight. Oh, yeah, that, that does remind me of it. Roll a clip, please. Yeah, we were so cold when we went down Murr Street. Or should I say, Murr Street. Uh, well, it doesn't matter how it's pronounced, Anthony. It just from water falling on Wayne and Wanda did remind me a little bit about Brewer Street. Hey, you, good job, Kirby, you got it. I did. Good one, Kenny. Hey, what's... What song is up next, Kermit? Oh, it's your new song for the Wiggles Wiggle Time movie, which is next weekend, Fall Fun. And some of the Muppets who are gonna be in that song should be ready right now. And here they come now. All right, here we go, Miardies. Yeah, I can't wait for the new Fall. Fun song. I can't wait to sing. Diego, I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, baby jaguar. I'll be right next to you. Excuse me, Wiggles. Am I okay to sing dressed like this? You can sing however you dress, Annie Sue. Oh, thank you, Wiggles. Any time, Annie Sue. If you have any questions, just ask us. All right, everyone, head up on stage and I'll introduce the next number. Go ahead, Chief. The stage and the audience are waiting for you. Thank you, Scooter. Put your guitar back on, Mari. Okay, Kermit. Dun dun dun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is a new song that the Wiggles wrote for their movie next weekend, Wiggle Time. And that song is Fall Fun. Yay! Stoke your fire, apple cider leaves are turning red. Wherever you go, chimneys glow, the smell of pumpkin bread. 
from winter night, autumn night, cozy in the house. Shorter days are in till summer comes again. There's lots to know about fall. Colorful leaves are in free where there's fun in the air. Because it's fall, 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 fall. Rake the leaves and jump on in, then rake them up again. There's so much to love about fall. Colorful leaves are everywhere, there's fun in the air because it's fall, 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 fall. Rake the leaves and jump on in, then rake them up again. There's so much to love about fall. You don't need a big reason to love this season because it's fall, fall. Fall, fall, fall. Do you find fall fun, Waldorf? No, why? Because same here, I don't. I find it cold. Da! <laughs>Hiya, Wiggles. Uh, Uncle Kermit wanted me to make sure everything was okay in here for you guys. Oh, hey, Robin. Everything's fine. Tell your Uncle Kermit that we're getting ready for the next number, the Wiggle Groove. Okay. Oh, hey, Robin. How, how are you doing with your new life here in Coolsville? Oh, I'm doing great. I made lots of friends here at my new school. And I got good grades. Well, that's great, Robin. You know, when we were your age, we got some good grades. You went to school? Yeah. We all have to go to school, Robin. To be smart. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I'll go and tell Uncle Kermit that you guys are almost ready for the wiggle groove. Thanks, Robin. Oh, I... And can you Wiggles do me a favor? Sure, Robin. Uh, if you see your friend Dorothy the Dinosaur, can you tell her I have something for her? I got her some roses, because I know how much she loves to eat them. Oh, I'm sure Dorothy would love the roses you give her, Robin. She is a... She's busy getting ready for the wiggle groove, but why don't we talk to her and tell her that you have... So you can give it them to her. Oh, thanks, Wiggles. You guys are the best. Oh, and Wiggles, one last thing. Yes, Robin? Jeff's asleep again. Oh, no! Jeff is always falling asleep. Thanks for telling us, Robin. Would you like to help us wake him up? I'd love that very much, Greg. This is this is my favorite part about you guys, always waking Jeff up. Well, you'll get to wake him up with us. And all, everyone out there at home watching us can help us wake Jeff up too. All right. Let's wake Jeff up. When I count to three, let's all yell, wake up Jeff, very loud. One, two, three. Wake up Jeff! <laughs> oh, Jeff, are you awake now? I'm awake now, Mari. Well, that's great, Jeff, because we need you for the next song, which is the Wiggle Groove. Zingo Zango. Okay, ba ba boom <laughs> Thanks for waking me up, Robin. No problem, Jeff. Now, come on, it's time to do the Wiggle Groove. Beauty bait. Dun 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 And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Wiggles in their next number, the Wiggle Groove. Your hands spin around. 
Hey, why is no one to ask us to be in the Wiggle Groove? Probably they, probably because they seen you dance. <laughs> You're you were great doing the Wiggle Groove, Kermit. Oh, thank you. Wiggles, you too, Annie Sue. We thought you were a great dancer. Aw, oh, thanks, Wiggles. <clears throat> oh, and you too, Miss Piggy. Thank Voo. How nice of Voo to say to moi. Hey, Annie Sue, why don't you go... Why don't you go with Miss Piggy and rest up for the next number that you and her are in? Okay, Mr. Greg. Come on, Miss Piggy. Don't tell moi what to do, Annabelle. Miss Piggy, be nice to Annie Sue. Sorry, Kermie. Sorry, Annie Sue. And now, please welcome back on stage those two lovebirds, Wayne and Wanda, singing one of the Wiggles' old songs from the Wiggles' Big Red Car movie. Georgia's song. Hear the wind in the trees. See the leaves falling down. Feel the soft rain on your face as we walk around. Oh, it's getting windy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Whoa. 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 Now that's what I call Gone with the Wind. If you call it Gone with the Wind, I call it a breeze. Ta! <laughs> Ooh, that's gotta hurt. I think it did, Jeff. Wayne, Wanda, are you both okay? I'm okay. <laughs> so am I. I gotta found that fun. Well, I didn't find that fun, Wayne. Oh. Well, a little fun. <laughs> uh, Jeff, can you please go help Wayne and Wanda get all warmed up? Oh, sure, Kermit. Come on, I got you guys. Do you think they'll be okay? Oh, I'm sure, Mari. Oh no, Jeff's asleep again. He's always falling asleep. Oh, and it's almost time for the next number. Oh wait. You know what is the next number? Wake up Jeff. We're supposed to wake Jeff up.
Right, Scooter? Okay, everyone. Wake up, Jeff. Wake up, Jeff. That's the next number. Everyone over here for Wake Up Jeff. I'll help wake Jeff up. Me too. Yeah. Count me in. Count Martin too. Oh, man. Ah, uh, what are the words to wake up Jeff again? It's okay, Fozzie. We'll teach you how to sing Wake Up Jeff. And we'll teach all you out there to sing Wake Up Jeff too. So you might want to stand up and dance with us. So we put our hands in the air like this, and we all say this together. Wake up, Jeff. And Jeff heads, Jeff's head bobs up and down like that. All right, everyone, stand up. Get ready to sing and dance to Wake Up, Jeff. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Wake Up, Jeff. Yeah! It must be Jeff. Wake up, Jeff. Everybody's wiggling. Wake up, Jeff. We really need you. Wake up, Jeff. You're missing all the fun now. Wake up, Jeff, before the day's through. Thank you for waking me up, Muppets. And thank all of you out there for waking me up. All right, very good singing, everyone. Thanks for waking Jeff up. Now, get ready for the next number. Greg, Dorothy, Robin, Captain, Feathersword. On stage, please. When I call your, when I, after I introduce you. Okay, Uncle Kermit. Oh, and, uh, Sweetums? Yeah, Kermit? Uh, can you and Dora please clean up all the leaves from Wayne and Wanda's Backfire song? Of course, Kermit. Me and Dora will get right on it. Por favor. Dora? Glad I could see, Sweetums. All right, Greg, Robin, Dorothy, Captain Vithazord, I'll go introduce you and you come out and sing the next number song. Math is everywhere. Okay, Uncle Kermit. Dun, 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 dun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's singing a new song he never sang before. Well, one of them, Greg Wiggle, along with Dorothy the Dinosaur, Captain Feathersword the Friendly Pirate, and my nephew Robin sing a song all about math. All right, Robin, take it away. Thank you, Uncle Kermit. Hello, everyone. My name is Robin the Frog. Now, I hope you all are having a great school year so far. And I hope all you out there are having a great school year. And happy first day of October of 2022. By the time you're watching this, 2022, first day of October, would have passed, and it would be tomorrow. Anyway, now, this next song is a little reminder of it's important to learn about math. That's right, Robin. Mathematics provides an effective way of building mental discipline and encourages 
lo lo logical response re reasoning and mental rigor rigor in addition mathematical knowledge plays a crucial role in understanding the content of other school subjects such as science social studies and even music and art so it's very important that we all learn about math math like money adding and subtractions and others and here's a little song to sing about math the song is called math is everywhere so feel free to sing along with us all right ready everyone ready guys we're ready, Robin, just like we practiced. Five, six, fiddlesticks. When you're at the store and you need to know how much to pay, that's math when you're telling time. And you want to know how long to stay, that's math when you're counting cars. Or looking at the stars. Everything around is really math. Tastic. Math is everywhere. Math is everywhere. Math is everywhere. Ah. Uh, when you're playing games. And you need to make sure things are fair. That's math. And you need to know which one goes here and what goes there. That's math. Want to know the score or what is less or more. Everything around is really math. Tastic. Math is everywhere. Math is everywhere. Math is everywhere. Ah, uh, math is everywhere. Math is everywhere. Math is everywhere. Ah, uh, that's math. Hey, audience. Who's this pirate with a feather for a sword? Oh, it's Captain Feather Sword! Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Feather Sword! Yay!
Hoo hoo hoo! Great dancing, me hearties! Now here comes another pirate dance! Nya nya nya! Hoo hoo hoo! Did you love that song? Yeah, I found it catchy. Well, that song wasn't so bad. I have to agree. Even though I don't know what nya 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 means, and nya is not a real word. Well, I think it was fantastic. Ah, waka waka. Okay, Scooter, what's up next? Uh, the next, next up next is supposed to be Dorothy's song, and then after that is Wags the Dog song. Okay, Wiggles, go grab your instruments. Oh, we won't be needing our instruments in this song. Kermit. Oh. You ready, Dorothy? Ready, Kermit. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Wiggles. Remember when you promised you would? Oh, uh, Dorothy. This is Kermit's nephew, Robin. Oh, hi, Robin. I remember you. You were just a polywog when I first met ya. I really... Yeah, I sure was, Dorothy. And and I remember how much you love eating roses, and you love to dance the romp a stomp And I was wondering if someday you can teach if I can do the romp a stomp with you. Oh, I would love to do the romp a stomp with you someday, Robin. Maybe you can come over to Wiggle House with your Uncle Kermit. Of course we can, Robin. But maybe after the show. Well, anyway, here's something I got for you, Dorothy. It's your favorite food, roses. Oh, thank you, Robin. I love them. Is it okay I dance with you in your next number? Sure. Okay. Okay. Robin, Piggy, Fozzie, Gonzo, Annie Sue. And Sweetums. Uh, wait for me to introduce you. And then come on stage and we'll do the Dorothy Would You Like to Dance With Me song. Get ready to dance, Dorothy. <sighs> I love to dance, Kermit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome on stage our favorite 
dinosaur that wears yellow spots. D-O-R-O-T-H-Y. Who loves to dance the romp on the stop? Dorothy the Dinosaur. In Dorothy, would you like to dance with me? And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage, Wags the Dog! Yay! Ruff! Ruff! Oh, me, oh, my! He barks all day and night! He barks wags, my dog wags. He eats so much that his stomach drags. Oh, me, oh, my! He barks all day and night! He runs around and picks the ground. Plays with bones and he makes a sound. Oh me, oh my! He barks all day and night. I love wax so much and I play his head. But all night long I hear him bark while I'm lying in my bed. I wanna sleep, I can't sleep. He'll stop barking if I give him something to eat. Oh me, oh my! He barks all day and night.
Shake your feet, it's really groovy. We'd like to dance with Z. Exactly what does Zing Zang Wing Wang Wong mean? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Stop! <laughs> Statler, Waldorf, that's enough. Sorry, Jake. Oh, uh, Dorothy, can you please get the telephone? It's probably Summer Skeeter, La Cabra, and... Denise calling. Sure, Scooter. Hello? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Who was it, Dorothy? Summer, Skeeter, Denise, and La Cabra. They're on their way. They said they'll be here in time for the closing number. La Cabra. Wiggle Meadly, Rainbow Connections, and the Magic Store. It will be nice to see Skeeter and Summer Penguin again. I can't wait to see how much she's grown. Yeah, me neither. Uh, say, Scooter, what's up next? Uh, next up is Fozzie. What? Ah! Ah, uh, quick, Kirby, go introduce me, go introduce me. Okay. Okay, okay, Fozzy, Fozzy, Fozzy. Whoa, 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 Fozzy, Fozzy. Fozzy, calm down. Calm it, day. No need to rush. Take a deep breath in. Now breathe out. Thanks, Dora. I really needed that. Didn't have the Fozzy. Remember not to rush next time, Fozzy. I will, Wiggles. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage that funny furry man, Mr. Fozzy Bear! Yay! Na 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 na. Thank you, thank you, and thank you! Boy, did I go to Swiss Chalet last night. The food they served there wasn't so little. Ah, waka waka. So how about that Captain Feathersword? He's a friendly pirate, and he told me that his favorite instrument is the guitar. Ah, get it? Because pirates say R, the guitar. Waka waka, waka 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 waka, waka 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 waka.
So how about Dora the Explorer's cousin Diego? He told me that when he was eight years old, he rescued a... Uh, run a ground humpback whale on a rocky island. And he rescued it by making a big splash. I get it, big splash. Wacka wacka. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, and one more joke. That Henry the Octopus, he is an eight legged wonder. Ah, waka waka. Da -na 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 -na. Good jokes, Fozzie. Aw, uh, thanks, Dorothy. Okay, Scooter, who's up next? Okay, next up is Scooter. No, wait, that's me. I mean, next up is Gonzo, and then... The Swedish Chef and Beverly Plume for Fruit Salad Yummy Yummy. I'm all ready to go on stage, Scooter. All right. Gonzo, just wait for... Kermit to pronounce you, and Diego and Dora are already on the stage waiting with the net to catch you with. Chief, going right now, Scooter. Thanks for agreeing to help me with the cannon and the soundtrack, Captain Feathersword and Henry. Learn! Anytime, Gonzo! Anytime, Gonzo, my me hearty. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Na 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 na! Thank you, Arriba! And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for me, the great Gonzo, for its amazing trick in history of his amazing tricks. I will shoot out of this cannon and Landed in this net where my friends Dora the Explorer and her cousin Diego are holding. And pulling the cord to shoot me through the cannon is my good friend Henry the Octopus. While my friend Captain Feathersword and my chickens do their impression of Tony Bennett singing William Tell Overture. Please! I must have silence. Are you ready? Listo, Gonzo. Thank you, Dora Diego. Or should I say, gracias. Hit it, Captain. Hit it, girls. Whoa! Ready, Godzo! All right, Henry, three, two, one, fire! Yeah! <laughs> boing! 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 Ha <laughs> I survived! Ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Da na 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 na! Hmm. Not bad, a cannon stun. Well, at least for once, his stunts didn't go bad like on the original Muppet Show. Stop! <laughs> Don't watch the original Muppet Show, kids. Well done, Gonzo, me hearty. That was the greatest stunt I've ever seen. Arr! Arr!
sugar and a plum 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 sing with the music la 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 sing with the music la 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 sing with the music la 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 she looks like a sugar and a plum 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 It's too bad we don't have brown hair. No, we have gray hair. Duh! <laughs> I refer the original brown girl in the ring. Sam, be nice. The Wiggles are a special guest. I am an American. Kermit. Sam Eagle, change your attitude. And be nice to the Wiggles. Oh, sorry, Jake. Okay, Swedish Chef and Beverly, Beverly Plume on stage for a fruit salad. Yummy, yummy, please. I can't woo -woo wait to sing fruit salad. Here's the girl. Hi, Chef. Come on, Wiggles. Summer, Skeeter, La Cabra, and Denise are almost here, boss. And it's almost time for the closing numbers. Well, what other songs we have left? Well, we have Fruit Salad Yummy Yummy, Henry's Dance, and... I think that's about it. Rainbow Connections, Wiggle Medley, and The Magic Store. You don't need to do it to do. You don't do it to do. Bark, bark, bark. Welcome to the Okie Dokie Cooking Show. I am your host, Beverly Food. And this is the... Swedish Chef! Hello! And today on the first episode of Okie Dokie Cooking Show, we'll be making some fruit salad! This is the only episode. There won't be any more in the future just to let you know. And joining us, helping us to make fruit salad, are the Wiggles! And... Hey, where's Sweetums and Annie Sue? I thought they were joining us. Coming, Wiggles. Sorry we're late. Sorry, Wiggles. That's okay, Annie Sue and Sweetums. Now we can get started. Oh, yes, I am looking forward to making some yummy, healthy fruit salad. And remember, everyone out there, you can make your own fruit salad at home. Just make sure to use a plastic knife, and you might want to grow up there to help you as well. And don't ever use a real knife, kids. They're dangerous. Let a grown-up use a real knife.
Society put the scraps away. Oh, wash the bones and wash the spoon. Let's do it all again real soon. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that eight-legged wonder, Henry the Octopus! Great dancing, Wiggles, and great dancing to you, Henry. Yeah, thank you, Kermit, thank you. Uh, Anthony, uh, before the show, someone asked us a question about you, and that person is Robin the Frog, Kermit's nephew. You remember Robin the Frog, do you, Henry? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Hello, Robin. Hi, Henry. You were just a pollywog when I first saw ya. That's what Dorothy said. Now, Henry, the question that Robin asked is, does Henry laugh? Henry, do you laugh? Oh, I love to laugh, Anthony. Yes, okay, indeed. Okay, well, we're going Oh, yes, I can do that. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, 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 Everybody, a big clap for Henry! <laughs> Good laughing, Henry. Thank you, Diego. Oh, anyway, great news, Chief. Summer, Skeeter, Denise, and La Cabra are outside waiting. For you to introduce them. Oh, well, well, I'm ready to introduce them. Wiggles, are you ready to see them? We're ready as e ever, Kermit. Right, now, ladies and gentlemen, the new members of joining the, us on The Muppet Show, 
Please welcome La Cabra, the goat, Skeeter, Scooter's twin sister, Denise, my old girlfriend, and Summer Penguin from Muppet Babies 2018. Yay! Yay! Here they are. Hi, Summer. Hi, Denise. Skeeter, the Cabra. Oh, we... It's so nice to see you all. Hey, Kermit. Hey, Scooter. Hey, Robin. Hi, Wiggles. Hi, Summer. Wow, Summer, you sure... Look at you. You're all grown up. And Denise and La Cabra. It's so nice to meet you both. Well, it's a nice to meet you too, Wiggles. Kermit texted me and told me a lot about all of you. Now, about how we love to sing and dance. And hello again to you too, La Cabra. Say, Wiggles, you remember my twin sister Skeeter, do you? Of course we do, Scooter. Hi, Skeeter. Hi, Wiggles. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Wow, you look just the same, like Scooter. Well, now that you're all here, we can do the last closing numbers. Wiggly Medley, Rainbow Connections, and the Magic Store. All right, everyone on stage for the last three closing numbers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Wiggles back on stage and all the Muppets on stage singing their last and final Wiggles song, Wiggly Medley from the Wiggles movie. Ladies and gentlemen, Wiggly Medley! Yay!
Just asleep. Are you ready, everyone? On the count of three. One, two, three. Wake up, Jeff! <laughs> Thank you for waking me up, everyone! Dun -dun. Hi, everyone. Kermit the Frog here. I hope you are all had a great time on The Muppet Show. And I hope you had fun meeting the Wiggles and their wiggly friends. Dorothy the Dinosaur, Wags the Dog, Henry the Octopus, Captain Feathersaur, Diego, Baby Jaguar, his sister Alicia, and their cousin Dora the Explorer, and the Wiggly Dancers. Greg, Murray, Jeff, and Anthony wanted me to tell you that they had a great time on The Muppet Show, and they hope that you did too. And I bet Statler and Waldorf enjoyed me and the Wiggles as well. We've already met the Wiggles. Frog? Yeah! We've known them ever since you were little kids! Anyway, Jake wanted to let you know that he's getting very tired. So, here are the last two songs for The Muppet Show. And if you know the words of this song, feel free to sing along. A little fact that this is the same song from The Muppets, The Great Muppet Adventure Movie. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it on YouTube at Jake Peter Landers. Again, feel free to sing along if you know the words. Here we go. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And what do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. Have you been half asleep? And have you heard voices? I heard them calling my name. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. It's something that I'm supposed to be. Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. The lovers. The dreamers and me. La da da di da da do. La da 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 di da do. Way to go, Wiggles and everyone. This is like a dream come true.
It starts when we're kids. Then it show up at school. Making faces and friends. You're a clown in a fell. Doing bright calls and bird calls and mutation. Ignoring your homework. Is that education? You're working your weirdos. You're getting standing ovation. You're burning up hope. You're burning up steam. What was once you've annihilated? It's grown up in stylish. Who wants in your dream? And somebody out there loves you. Stands up and hollers for more, more. You find your home at the magic store. Oh, way to go, gang. We did it. We finished the first episode of the Muppet Show, Jake Lantern version. Life's like a movie, write your own ending, keep believing, keep pretending, we've done just what we set out to do, thanks to the lovers, the dreamers, and you. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed the show. Now, before we go, we want to thank our very special guest stars, the Wiggles! Yay! Thank you, thank you. Gracias, amigos. Thank you, me hearty. Yeah! <sighs> Thanks for having us on The Muppet Show, Kermit. We had a great time on The Muppet Show, everyone. We hope you did, too. And we hope we'll see you again in our own Wiggle show. On the Wiggles new movie. The Wiggles Wiggle Time. Coming next weekend. On Thanksgiving break. Well thanks for coming Wiggles. And we'll see you all next time on the Muppet Show. Bye bye. Bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Mwah, mwah, bye. Bye bye, the hearties. See you at the Wiggle Show. Bye. Bye, Statler. Bye, Waldorf. Bye, Diego. Bye, Dora. Bye, Wiggles. Bye, Dorothy. And goodbye to all you at home out there. <laughs>